Hello everyone. Welcome to this session on engineering graphics. In today's session, we are going to learn what is isometric projection. As we know, to make all the dimensions visible in a single view, we go for two modifications. The first modification is rotate this object through 45 degree such that all the edges of top face are equally inclined to VP. And in this position, if you draw its front view, you will get two faces. And top view will be square but with some different orientation and all these edges will make 45 degree angle with VP. Another modification required is give inclination with HP through 30 degree such that all the three faces are equally visible in a projected view. As because of two modifications, each and every dimension will become oblique, that is it will be inclined to both the planes, that is HP as well as VP. Because of this, there will be a reduction in the projected uh, view of each dimension. Hence, each and every dimension is reduced by some extent. It is reduced by what extent? Let us find it mathematically. For that, let us give some notations uh, later to these points. Let us call this point as A. Then, let us draw a horizontal line and vertical line through this. Sorry. And just draw a line with a 45 degree angle. This point is say B, this point is say C, and this point is say D. Now, uh, this is definitely 30 degree, and this angle is 45 degree. The dimension along 45 degree line is a true length. Whereas, the dimension along 30 degree line is a reduced length because of uh, projection of oblique line. If we find cos of 30 for this small right angled triangle, this is right angled triangle ABC, cos 30 is equal to adjacent side AB upon the smaller diagonal AC therefore AB is equal to cos 30 into AC is equal to root 3 by 2 into AC now for this uh, uh, ABD right angle triangle that is bigger right angle triangle if you once again take cos ratio cosine ratio cos 45 is equal to adjacent side is the same AB upon diagonal is now AD AD therefore here AB is equal to cos 45 into AD cos 45 value is 1 by root 2 into AD. Now equating this equation and this equation for left hand side AB, we will get root 3 by 2 into AC is equal to 1 by root 2 AD. Now we want to find this ratio AC by AD. Therefore, AC by AD is equal to sorry, 2 by root 3 into 1 by root 2 is equal to root 2 by 3 is equal to 0.816. From this, what we can conclude is each and every dimension will be reduced by this much extent that is approximately 20%. Suppose original dimension is 100 mm, then it will be around 80 mm. 
and the exact value is 81.6 mm. But it is not advised to calculate each and every dimension, convert each and every dimension and transfer it while drawing isometric projection because least count of our scale is just 1 mm and many of the times we will get fractional values which cannot be transferred. To transfer accurately the reduced dimensions uh, we have to uh, go for some graphical method. For that we need to construct isometric scale. If you use given dimensions in you know, an orthographic view as it is while drawing isometric, then it is called isometric view. But in uh, real practice or in the real sense, as, it is, as each and every dimension is reduced by some extent, uh, we need to uh, uh, convert the, the reduced dimensions graphically and transfer these dimensions accurately. Now how to construct isometric scale? First of all, draw one horizontal line, then draw line at 45 degree angle, uh, mark different points with equal intervals, the interval of 1 cm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as per requirement, you can extend these divisions. After this, draw another line at 30 degree angle, then project each and every point on 30 degree line. Let us call these points as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash. If we use these lengths, this is as good as our uh, normal scale. It is known as natural scale, natural or true scale. By using these dimensions, means dimensions given in orthographic views, if you transfer those dimensions as it is while drawing isometric, then it is called isometric view. And if we use dimensions along this 30 degree line, of, uh, of course these dimensions will be reduced as per uh, that um, conversion 0.816 times the original dimension, then it is called isometric projection. Uh, we are supposed to transfer the required dimension uh, from this 30 degree line. This scale is isometric scale. Isometric scale. This angle is 30 degree and this angle is 45 degree. Uh, for some odd dimensions like 63, 57 something, we can uh, go for some uh, subdivisions also. See, you can divide this first segment into 10 number of equal parts. And uh, the corresponding dimension can be transferred uh, from this uh, isoscale to the uh, isometric product. Thank you.